quick little video on hedgehog mushrooms today. One of the best chanterelle cousins. All right, let's talk hedgehog mushrooms. Hedgehogs are fantastic wild mushrooms. They're related to chanterelles, but unlike chanterelles, they have a more savory flavor as opposed to, you know, where the chanterelles are going to smell kind of sweet like fruit or apricots. They are more tricky to work with. These are Hydnum umbilicatum, and these are coming from Oregon uh, in the Midwest. These will be growing in our winter. Uh, this is January, the end of January right now. So the umbilicatum, you can see here, like umbilical, think belly button. That's exactly what that is referring to there. These are my least favorite type of hedgehog. Well, there's only, generally speaking, two kinds. The uh, hidden or pandum in the Midwest that we get is much bigger and chunkier. Uh, it's got more of a white stem, and sometimes they're very, very large. They're a little bit more meaty. These are still really great though, and you can often get them for cheaper than chanterelles. Unfortunately, one thing you'll notice with all hedgehogs is that they're kind of brittle. So they can kind of break apart as you handle them or if you put them in a bag, as you're cutting them. So you just got to go with it. One thing I like to do is, you can obviously, like this guy, throw the whole thing in the pan. Yeah, he just broke. See, they kind of fall apart. They're a little bit fragile. But one thing you can do, you can put this whole guy in a pan. What I might do is just kind of clean up the stem here, and then just have this guy as like two pieces. That, we'll call that a whole piece. Because they kind of break apart a little bit, they make really good duck cells. Uh, if you really want to keep their shape, you can blanch them. And blanch them just in unsalted water or just with a pinch of salt. That can help some of the debris come off of them too. Because as you're going to see here, the little belly button gets full of forced lint. And I mean, you can try to take, if you take a brush, you're probably just going to crack the cap. And I really like to keep them whole. Here's a good example. See all that stuff in there? Blanching them will help you clean them. And then you can strain the stock and use it for something. But they're a great mushroom. These are growing with pine trees. You can see the pine needles. So they're going to be cleaner. You don't have to worry about grit as much as I do with the hedgehogs that I pick in the Midwest. One thing people will talk about if the hedgehogs are dirty is taking off the little teeth here. Personally, I think if your hedgehogs are dirty enough that you have to scrape off the teeth, unless it's a really nice big hedgehog, it might not be worth it because that grit is really hard to get out. And like I said, you can try blanching them. But yeah, these are a great, great little mushroom. And I'll put some images... Man, they're so brittle, though. I'll put some other images of the different hedgehog mushrooms, because there's another one called spreaders that are absolutely massive. I think it's a variation of the rapandum, but I'm not exactly sure. I'll put some images of those in afterwards. But, yeah, it's a great mushroom to know and cook. Then another species you might see is Hydnum or Hydnum albomagnum. This is the giant white hedgehog. Just look at the size of that thing. These guys are so big that you can grill them. They make a great meat substitute. Just cook cook the things whole. They're wonderful. Uh, hedgehogs, I just like to eat a pile of them when I eat them. Here, that's a vegetarian entree with a butternut squash steak and just a pile of hedgehogs. Again, a nice big saute pan filled with hedgehog mushrooms. There is nothing wrong with that. You can treat these like any other mushroom. They're super versatile. They also make very good pickles. I will put a link to that in the video description. My mushroom conserve is tried and true. Many, many people have made it over the years. These are also, when you get small ones, one of the best mushrooms for soup. 
because you want to keep them whole and leave that texture and, you know, really honor the mushroom. So just a few of my favorite things to make with hedgehogs. Happy mushroom season, and thanks for watching.